Here we have my uncle's old Corona Ambassador box camera. This camera is from the 1960s. It's very, very old. It was passed down to me uh, through the family after my uncle passed away. Um, it's had a couple of little repairs to it. Um, but it does work. So we're going to open it up and we're going to use this with our 120 film. Um, if you open it up on the clips on the side, and I've got the film actually inside it there. Uh, we're going to be using Ilford HP5. There it is. And it's a uh, 400 SA film, but that don't really matter in the camera like this because you just have a fixed shutter speed, um, and that's it. There's nothing else you can do about the the speed. So you take the packet, take the film out of the packet, and it comes in a little silver foil sort of wrapping. Uh, we have to take that wrapping off. Um, but before we do that, I'm just going to move the spool from the bottom because that's where the, you, you always end up with an empty spool. So I'm going to move the spool from the bottom and put it in the top slot. Sometimes a little bit fiddly. Um, but it just needs to slot into there because that's where the film's going to go. It's going to go wrap around that when we finish with it. So let's get the... Um, Let's get the film out of the little wrapper. It's a little bit fiddly. And there we are. Let's put that out of the way. So, now we have the roll of film like this. Now, what you're looking at is you can see the backing paper. There's the, there's the backing paper, and then there's film wrapped on the inside. So, we start by unwrapping this and doing this. We don't need this little bit of sticky tape. Um, I've got to put it into the camera before I unwrap it and remembering to put it in the right way around so that it unrolls so on the outside edge. Oh, another little fiddly thing. Thank you, lad. There we are. Nearly in. There we are. So, with that the right way around, it's going to go over the top of the, um, of the, um, I don't know what to call that bit. I suppose it's the, um, what would be the, the frame or where the frame's going to be. I don't need this little bit of sticky tape at the top, so I'm going to remove that in a second or so. Let's get rid of it. Oh, yeah. Now, there's another little, sort of smaller bit of tab underneath there that I'm going to undo in a second. Now, this needs to go through one of these slots. So, I've got like a thinner tab, which I'm going to use. And that's going to go through the into the slot. I'm just going to, once that's in, I'm just going to wrap it around a couple of times. Just to make sure it's on there nice and tight. Now, if you're winding this on, you can wind this on quite safely up to the point where the arrow is. You can get that arrow right up to where the middle of the frame would be, and it would still be okay. There's plenty of room. So I'm going to put that back on. Um, now, in this particular camera, you have to wind the. Um, um, there, that's clipped on. You have to wind. The, uh, the winder forward and we're going to keep winding it forward until you start to see the one. It's actually quite a way. Nearly there, you get the arrow first. Then a little round things. And then at last, you get the number one. So that's now in the position for the first frame. I'm going to put the little cover thing back down. And that's it. That's the camera loaded and ready for use.